Mbele ambapo uh, uh, ambapo Rais William Ruto amemtetea waziri Moses Sukuria kuhusiana na matamshi yake kuhusu vyombo vya habari. Amezungumza haya akiwa katika mji wa Naivasha ambapo alisema kwamba kila mmoja kona uhuru wa kutoa maoni yake ama msimamo wake kuhusu maswala mbalimbali. Hebu na tupate taarifa hiyo. Siku chache baada ya tetesi kuibuka kuhusiana na kusika kwake katika sakata ya uagizaji wa mafuta ya upishi Waziri wa Biashara Moses Kuria alifika mbele ya seneti leo. Waziri huyu akidai kuwa uagizaji wa mafuta ulisababishwa na washikadau kupandisha bei ya bidhaa hiyo. Kuria alidai kuwa takriban kampuni tano tofauti katika sekta hiyo ya mafuta zimetumia fursa ya wao kupewa idhini ya kufanikisha biashara hii kwa dhalilisho wa Kenya kwa kuuza mafuta kwa bei ya juu. Problem with the edible oil industry is that 50 million, 55 million Kenyans depend on five companies. If five companies collude and they decide to poison all of us are going to be in very deep trouble. These five companies, Mr. Speaker, are uh, Bitco, and I'll talk about Bitco later. Uh, there's a company known as Kappa, a company known as Pwani Oil, a company known as Menengai, and a company known as Golden Africa. These companies, they engage in what they call their own version of value addition. Mnamo February mwaka huu, waziri huyo kupitia mtandao wa kijamii wa Twitter, Alisema na nanuku, hadi wakati sekta ya mafuta itaweza kuimarika serikali itaendelea kuwakomoa wananchi kutoka kwa mikono ya makateli wanaopandisha bei ya bidhaa hii kila kukicha maseneta wa mrengo wa zimiole umoja hata hivyo walisusia kikao hicho wakidai kuwa waziri huyo hapaswi kupewa fursa kuhutubia seneti kufuatia matamshi yake siku za hivi karibuni the azimio senators uh, have taken a position that in fact uh, we cannot allow somebody like Moses Kuria to appear before the Senate and soil the hallowed halls of uh, Parliament. Moses Kuria, as you know, is the poster child of hate speech and ethnic contempt in this country. Uh, his uh, very asabic tongue is a staff of legend in this country. And for the Senate to afford him an opportunity, we want to discuss his conduct, especially his recent uh, uh, unwarranted attacks on the fourth estate in this country. He has threatened members of the media. Licha ya kukashifiwa vikali baada ya matamshi yake kuhusiana kampuni ya wanabari ya Nation Media Group, bunge huyo wa zamani wa Gatundi Kusini alidai kuwa wasimamizi wa baadhi ya vyombo vya habari wanapokea rushwa kutoka kwa makateli katika sekta tofauti. My honest opinion is uh, noise sponsored by these five companies which have stated which have continued to enjoy monopoly which are using the profits they have made historically to fight our efforts to bring down the cost of living. I ask him, Mr. Andai, I find it difficult to continue giving you answers because even when we provide the correct information about Edible Oil, you continue to write negative stories. That gentleman from the nation, Mr. Speaker, told me that every time I write the correct truth, my editors tell me that all they want is a negative story. Mr. Speaker, that conversation did not happen verbally. That conversation happened over WhatsApp, so I have got evidence. Haya ya naziri ukujaji Lawrence Mugambi, wa maakama ya juu akimtaka waziri Moses Kuria, kwepukana na kutumia matamshi ya matusi didi ya kituwa chochote cha habari. Hii ni baadi ya mwana arakati Charles Mugani kwa silisha kesi didi ya waziri huyo. Ian Keitani, Luka TV. Ya masante sana ya niketanyi kwa tarifa hiyo. Naibu Gavana wa CIA aliyebanduliwa William Odol ameambia kamati maalum ya seneti inaochunguza mapendekezo ya kungatuliwa kwake kama naibu gavana wa CIA kwamba hakuhusika katika ubadhirifu wa pesa za kaunti na badala yake ni yeye ndiye aliyepaswa barika kuhusiana na ufujaji wa fedha katika kaunti ya CIA. Kamati hiyo ikisikiza ushahidi kutoka wa wakilishi wadi eneo 